you are welcome once again to uh, another lesson of physics paper 2 a level at back science education consultants um, teacher course and we are proceeding uh, in the previous lesson uh, we looked at the capacitance of concentric spheres you can review good enough all the videos are there on youtube on our channel back bac science education consultants you can find it there and uh, follow try to follow and you will uh, get whatever possible you could not have got now today we want to look at the capacitance of a parallel braid capacitor with me is what i've chosen as a model of such a kind okay so if this and this they are the capacitor plates this and this are the capacitor plates of that kind of a capacitor so these are, they are parallel they are parallel so between them there is a distance d okay from here to here there is a distance d and each of them let's say they are of uh, area a capital so we want to see how do we obtain the capacitance of uh, such uh, capacitors as you can see it is drawn here okay so each has an area a and then they are at the separation of distance g meters so how do we get the capacitance of this how shall we always obtain that kind of uh, capacitance how do we get that one so um you can see that due to this potential difference then there is an electric field intensity which is across there is that intensity between this upper plate and this lower plate and what is that electric field intensity according to gauss's theorem of electrostatics that we saw in electrostatics electric field intensity is equaling to sigma out of epsilon naught we are saying the space here is filled with air is equal to sigma out of epsilon naught where this sigma is the charge the surface density of charge or what you call surface charge density therefore this sigma is the charge per unit area so if i can substitute this one here what do I get? I find that I have the electric field intensity equals where there is this, I substitute this. So that is the charge out of, uh, of area. Then we had divided by epsilon naught. So it becomes charge out of a epsilon naught. Remember, we want the capacitance. We are on electric field intensity. We have also studied from our electrostatics that the electric field intensity is equivalent to the potential gradient. Where potential gradient is the potential difference divided by the distance. So for this case, if our potential difference is V and our distance is V meter, therefore our E would be equivalent to this. What does this show us? This actually shows us that charge out of a epsilon node is equivalent to v out of d remember what is capacitance that's what we are looking for what is capacitance we know that capacitance is the ratio of magnitude of charge to the potential to the potential difference remember the charge is true okay to the potential difference so I can see, I can see charge here and V there. So how can we get two out of V? It is as simple as I divide by V both sides and A epsilon naught. Uh, and, 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 and cross multiply this one there. So I, therefore, I can have two equals A epsilon naught V out of d but i want to divide by v both sides so they have the two of v 
So when I divide by V here and I divide by V there, I remain with true out of V equivalent to A epsilon naught out of D. But what is true out of V? What is true out of V, my friend, there? Yes, we say that true out of V is the capacitance. From the definition, well, we say that the capacitance is the ratio of magnitude of charge stored on each of the capacitor plates, the magnitude of charge, to the potential difference across them, which is our V. Therefore, that's the capacitor. So I can say that now this is the capacitor. So therefore, I can just say capacitance equals A epsilon naught out of out of D. That is the capacitance of a parallel break capacitor like the one we could be having here. What do you realize from the expression? I want you to realize and discover what happens if you increase this area of contact, this area, if you increase it, and maybe now it was that one, but now we are increasing the area now, our plate capacitors are like this one. What happens? Because you have increased the area, it means the capacitance will do what? Will increase. Okay? What happens when you increase the distance? For instance, we have this distance D from here to there. We can increase it. We can increase it. Okay? We can increase it and you can see now the distance has become bigger. So what happens to the capacitance of such a capacitor press? You have increased the denominator. Therefore, we should be expecting the value of the capacitance to do what? To reduce. We have another parameter, epsilon. Yeah, here is the parameter not and it's constant. But we can change the medium in which this thing is being done. Therefore, by changing the permittivity. So what happens if we increase this? If you increase this, then the capacitance will increase because it is an emulator. That one is taking us back to what we studied before. That if you bring a dielectric, any material that is a, a poor conductor, if you bring a dielectric and you press it between these capacitor plates, the capacitance will do what? Will increase. Why? Because you have increased the permittivity. I know you have got a point. Please continue and don't leave this channel. Please continue inviting all your colleagues to come so that we can study together. That is at Back Science Education Consultants, BAC. Everything to do with understanding, actually, we are available and we are providing all that you need that you need for your performance. So therefore, the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by A epsilon naught over D. That is when it is in virtue or when it is in air. But you can now press something, as I've said, you press now this one, which is a dielectric, which has a different permittivity, which is not epsilon naught which is epsilon. So therefore, the capacitance will now become A epsilon out of, out of D. And of course, this epsilon can also vary from material to material. And the way we compare which materials have more uh, permittivity than others is by comparing the capacitance if that material is pressed in this space to the capacitance when the space is filled with air for different materials, then you can know that this one has is better, this one is like this, this one can help us to this extent. And then after the measure of that, we compare the capacitance when we have inserted that material there and the capacitance when the material is not there, that measure gives us what you call the relative permittivity of the media. Therefore, the relative permittivity of this media that I'm inserting here is the ratio of the capacitance of this capacitor. Okay? It's the ratio of capacitance of this capacitor when this material is there. 
to the capacitance of the same capacitor when this one is not there as long as you keep area constant and the distance of separation of the plates constant that one is termed as a, a, a relative permittivity oh yes relative permittivity we have said this is the capacitance when i have put this material okay to the cap to the capacitance when there is air or vacuum the capacitance when there is air or vacuum you realize that this a will cancel this d will cancel and then at fact our relative permittivity will remain epsilon how to epsilon not and therefore some people can also define relative permittivity as the permittivity of the medium <coughs> excuse me <coughs> to So, then a fact, we can take note of what we have discussed, because I know it will be better. So, I'm saying that consider a parallel plate capacitor whose metric strips are each of area m that squared is there. You can write, consider parallel plate capacitor whose metric strips, okay, this one are of area m that squared and are at a separation d as shown above or as shown there if 2 is the magnitude of charge if 2 is the magnitude of charge on either capacitor plates this and this then the electric field intensity E of the field between the, the capacitor plates is given by E equals sigma uh, over epsilon naught where where sigma is the charge out of area because sigma is the surface charge density where sigma the surface charge density equals that full stop so E becomes that this means this means that E becomes the Q of A not can maybe call it equation 1 also E is equivalent to potential radiant, which is equal to V out of D. So E is V out of D. That's equation 2. So from 1 and 2, we have from 1 and 2, we have the charge out of A epsilon naught equals V out of D. So when I cross multiply this on this side and divide this on this side, where we shall have 2 out of V equals A epsilon naught out of D. But 2 out of V is the capacitance. There are four. Capacitance equals A epsilon naught out of D. This is a very important uh, statement. Where epsilon naught is the permittivity of of free space. If a directric of permittivity epsilon, if the directric of permittivity epsilon is between the capacitor plates then the capacitance becomes a epsilon 
So V, then the capacitance becomes A epsilon out of D, not relative permittivity of a medium in brackets by electric cross bracket between the capacitor plates epsilon r equals permittivity of the medium in brackets when the directric is between the capacitor plates then divided by permittivity of free space you can say when air over two is between the capacitor plates when air over two is between the capacitor plates therefore epsilon r equals epsilon out of epsilon naught and of course in future if we need this one and we have this and this then you can see that the epsilon will be equal to epsilon r times epsilon naught we shall also use this one at some point in the near future and definition dielectric constant or what you call relative permittivity dielectric constant or what you call relative permittivity is the ratio of capacitance of a capacitor is the ratio of the capacitance of the capacitor filled with the dielectric to the capacitance of the same capacitor when fed with air over two. The ratio of capacitance of the capacitor filled with the dielectric to the capacitance of the same capacitor filled with air or vacuum. You can always find such important statements at Back Science Education Consultants. Trust me, they are only found there. You just need to invite a colleague so that you learn together. You come together, then you achieve. I want us to do a, a calculation so that we see the applications of some of the things that we have studied. We shall just do one for this uh, particular for this particular lesson. We are just doing one calculation. Yes, so uh, our question is this. That two horizontal parallel plates of area 500 centimeters square are mounted two millimeters apart in vacuum. The lower plate is asked, and the upper plate is given a charge of 0 0.05 microcoulombs. That neglecting the edge effects, find the electric field intensity between the plates. They calculate the electric potential on the upper plate. And the capacitance of the plates. We are just given a very simple task that we can maybe do that, some sketching. That they are two horizontal parallel, just like we had them here. This and this, okay? They are both horizontal. You know, these plates can be changed. Maybe they can be like this. They can be like this. They are still parallel, but these ones are horizontal and are parallel, okay? Yes, so they are like that. So, uh, so this is the upper one, this is the, the lower one. We are told that they have an area of 500 centimeters squared each. So the area is 500 centimeters squared. Of course, we shall change it into a square. You know what we do? Then the distance of separation is 2 
millimeters. We shall also change it to meters when we are performing, uh, the, the, when we are doing the calculation. <coughs> with me. And then we want to find the electric field intensity between the two plates. So maybe we can do some sketching and we show this is just one plate here. Okay? This is the upper one, then there is the lower one. We are told the area is there, the distance is given here. Uh, so this one is given a charge, and this one is, is asked. Meaning that one creates that kind of a potential difference, V that will be uh, across. What is what is, we are finding the electric field intensity? So what is electric field intensity? Okay, we have from this lesson we have known that maybe I can remove this. We have known that electric field intensity is this one. The sigma out of the epsilon node, which is also the charge out of a epsilon node. Okay, the value of the epsilon node is always a constant, uh, it can be provided. And the charge is given, we are told the charge is this. So, therefore, our electric field intensity will become 0 0.05. <coughs> this is micro exponent. Negative six. Then the area from say two thousand square to two thousand square is exponent negative four. Then times uh, the value for the epsilon node should be now um, eight point eight nine exponent negative four. And when you perform uh, the mathematics so well. You are supposed to get a figure close to 1.125 exponent 5. 1.125 exponent 5. Volt per meter. That is the value of electric field intensity. We need electric potential. Electric potential. When you have field intensity and D, we know that E is. The potential gradient. So we have E and D, meaning V is E times D. Therefore, our V will be E then times D, and the E is given here 1.125 exponent 5. Then the distance of separation is 2 millimeters. <coughs> so when you are changing from millimeters to meters, is exponent. Negative. And when you perform the calculation, you should get a figure close to um, uh, 2.25 exponent 2. 2.25 exponent 2. That is volts. Okay? You, you press your calculator and compare. And lastly, we want the capacitance. Lastly, we want the capacitance of the capacitor. What is the value of the capacitance of the capacitor? How do we get the capacitance? It has very many forms. But from the original definition, we say that capacitance is two out of eight. And you can see the charge we have and the voltage we have also got. So you can substitute. So this is 0 0.05 exponent negative 6. Then out of 2.25 exponent 2. And what do we get when we substitute there? Press your calculator. I can retrieve the figure that I have here, which is 2.25. 2125 exponent negative 10 or something across uh, that 2.2125 exponent negative 10. The unit of capacitance a finite. So so that is that okay? Yes. Uh-huh. We also had
all studies that the capacitance is A epsilon after T. I want you to use this one. Use that and see whether you will be able to obtain uh, the same value of the capacitance. That is Chakos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Back Science Education Consultants. Please be there. You are always higher welcome. Thank you for following our lessons. May God bless you. May you be blessed. May God bless you.